In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download climatic data from Data Access Viewer. So I'll be also giving the link in the description. You can just check it out. Open your browser and just type in Data Access Viewer and hit the button search. Now you can see the first link, Data Access Viewer, NASA Power. So this is the website from where we are going to download the climatic data sets. So it may be getting loaded within few seconds. So this is how the home page looks like. So let me close this tab and move on to the tab on the left hand side. So here, first we are going to choose a user community. So I am going to select renewable energy. And the next option is temporal average. So you can just pick up the hourly average, daily average, monthly and annual average. Here I am going to choose monthly and annual average. And after that, you can see the next option. Uh, we need to enter the lat long or we can just use the point. We can just point on the map. If you know the lat long, you can just put on the lat long. Otherwise, you can choose this option point. And let me pick up a location from this map. And uh, let me zoom into the particular location. Here I have chosen Athens and now you can see here the lat long has been loaded successfully. So the next option is select the time extent. So the data available is from 1981 to 2021. So I am going to cover the entire extent. You can just customize for your study and after choosing the uh, time extent we you just go on to the file format here i am going to choose csv you can also choose net cdf if you are working if you want it as a raster file or geojson so let me choose the csv file and after that we are going to move on to the parameters so what are all climatic parameters we are interested in we can just pick it out so first uh, you can see temperature let me choose the temperature and click on this arrow here in this, uh, I'm going to handpick a few of uh, few parameters. So temperature at two meters, and uh, temperature maximum and temperature minimum. And let me move on to the next option, humidity and precipitation. And here we are going to choose the uh, relative humidity, and you can choose the precipitation average or uh, precipitation sum average. So here, here I'm going to choose the precipitation average and finally we can choose the wind speed, pressure and direction. So here you can choose the uh, wind speed, wind direction, wind direction at 10 meters and if you want you can choose the surface pressure. After selecting these parameters uh, you can uh, hit the button submit. If you want to know more about this, you can just click on the option parameter definitions. So here you can know much about each of this each of these parameters. For each parameter, you can uh, you'll be having and given some uh, definitions and how they have derived the information. So like this, earth skin uh, temperature maximum. So likewise you can check on the information for each of the parameter by clicking the parameter definition and if you want you can also find the meteorology. Finally hit the button submit. So our data will be ready within few seconds. So as you can see here our data has been ready just click on the option yes, uh, CSV. The file will be downloaded. You can just see here. So let me show you on the folder. Let me open it. So this is the CSV file which we have downloaded and you can see some definitions has been uh, given. For example, you can find out the parameters based on the names. For PS means uh, surface pressure. T2M refers to temperature and 
RH2 refers the relative humidity. Likewise, you can find out the parameters. So first is PS. So you can find the pressure parameter for each of the month. And just we just move on to the next option. Here you can find the temperature. For each month, the temperature has been given. So the average temperature has been given. And the next thing is uh, the uh, wind direction. So relative humidity followed by wind direction. So this is RH2M is relative humidity. And it is also been given in the month wise average has been given. And the next thing is that wind direction. You can see here 350 degrees, 4.4 degrees likewise. And you can also check in the temperature maximum, temperature minimum. Finally, precipitation data has been given. So likewise, you can download the data sets. It can be useful for your research work. Just uh, go through the documents properly. You can also prepare a lot, a lot of uh, charts using this data. For example, let me show you. So this is a uh, wind direction data. And let me pick up two uh, three years. And you can insert some uh, charts. So let me go to the radar option. Here you can uh, make some charts using the data sets. So what was the degree? You can just find out using this option. Likewise, you can uh, prepare charts for the rainfall map or a temperature map. So this is for precipitation. Let me choose three years. And you can see the precipitation for the three consecutive years. So likewise, you can prepare a lot of charts using this uh, data. And you can analysis, analyze your region, how your region is. So if you have any doubts on this, ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching.